There, okay, now we're live because most of the audience will come from YouTube. That's the, the bigger one. People What's up, guys? Here. We're uh, we're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and X. Twitter, formerly known as X. X, tw formerly known as Twitter. What's up? Why are we on X? Type it out because that's where we're at. Because it's because that's where the freedom is. Jessica, what's up? Jessica Rankin. Joe Mercado, what's going on? Jeremy Kirby. Hey, I need a bigger monitor. So that my number, so all my characters are bigger. I blow it up, but then I lose half the screen. Well, all we need is a big thing on the TV. TV. <clears throat> like Joe Rogan has. We could take that 85 inch one out of the living room upstairs. We just hang it right here. You could right beside me right here, so you can just. We'll cut a. Right? We'll we'll have a camera on the back, so it projects you to the front. Perfect. Finally caught alive, Kevin. What's up, Off Grid Ping? What's going on? How are you, Jake C? Chase Peoples. What's up? We're getting rain and a lot of rain here. James Barden, man, good to see you and the wife this weekend. Noodles. What's going on, Andrew Stanick? McCurby Provisions. Blake Nash, what's going on? Roger. Kiri, how are you? I walked out and you guys were gone. Haram, Haram Haji. What's up, Roger Moore? Sean Connery. Wasn't there Roger Moore? Yes, he, but it wasn't Sean Connery. Who was Roger Moore, though? He Roger was the other Moore one. Was, no, Roger Moore was the other 007. Seven. Yeah. Scully, please, yes, get, sir. please get in your halo. Uh, sorry, I can't, I can't see the screen. I normally get in the halo, but... You're there. No, I'm kind of off. Oh, that's see what they're talking about. See, when I move the screen over, though, I, I can't, can't see. I it. can't see. Sorry, guys. I, I like to be in there. I need to get glasses. I, I need people to know. How was I'm SRF? SRF? SRF ran smoothly. There was no, nothing crazy happened. It seemed like everybody was in the zone. Scott Hassan, what's up, buddy? How are you? Remember the old magnifying glass they used to put in front of the TV? Oh, yeah, like a friend, frenzel lens. Those are great for starting fires. Please answer my emails. Michael, Michael Peters, uh, I don't do emails. Um, get a hold of our customer service department, which does not exist. Type out what you want here, Michael. What do you want? What can we do for you? What you don't realize is I have 4,000 emails from the last three days. McCurby, what's going on? Michael Peters, seriously, type out what, what it is we can do for you here. I sent in an email, had a detail for a question, Jessica. What is it, Jessica? Let's hear what you got. What's your question, Jessica? Somebody else here might have the same question. Can't post comments to some destinations. That's weird. I need a multicam, but oh, yeah, dude, we're not doing it. I, I actually just read, I <laughs> literally, did, Michael, I literally just read your email. You know what was not in your email? Any information about what the fuck you wanted. It literally said nothing at all. I had to actually type your name in to see the other email history because rather than to replying to our email chain, you fucking created a brand new email. I, we're not, I'm not running it right now. Like I have OD black butt packs. I don't have any of the DA gen two mag pouches that you're asking for. And I have 8,000 orders already in place ahead of yours. Like we ran multi-cam butt packs several times in the last few months. I keep getting emails from the IRS. Uh, let me tell you, buddy, the IRS is not fucking emailing you. The IRS will send you uh, paperwork in the mail and when they really want your attention, they will send it certified where you have to sign for it. Texas, what up? Lost corporate jobs, starting business, calllady.com, Jessica. Oh, you're going to start that or you're asking, you want us to start that? Calllady.com. Interesting. I'm curious to see what you're doing. Benjamin Brewer, what's up? Hostage, what's up? Yes, I started. That's fucking badass. Awesome. You should jump on our um, membership on YouTube and ask whatever questions, and we will answer them thoroughly in depth and bounce uh, ideas and stuff for you. I don't know if you're asking call girl service. Cool. Is that? It's a virtual sale help, and I love, and I have a full service CRM. Cool. Customer CRM's what? Customer retention management. 
Mike Robbins, hola, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Sam, Sam, sentamos, por favor. I feel so low. Low, siento. So low, I see your toe. S-O-C, K-S. Callgirl.com. That's a good fucking URL. I cannot believe you got that. IRS, you're right. John got the letter too. Well, you better, you better do not ignore the letter. <laughs> Answer the letter. Calllady.com, LLC. I qualify leads. That's cool. <clears throat> Let's see. Inbound, outbound. I bought COD Modern Warfare just so I could be Skelly for a day. What? What happened? He got oh. the uh, he got the uh he got the video app? game. That's nice. That was the first SRF the wife went to. She loved it. Good to know I didn't marry the wrong bitch. That's always, uh, that's always, uh, I guess, uh, brings peace, right? Any chance of creating a slightly larger FUPA XL with a padded Velcro in center panel, large enough to hold a Glock 19 and mini iPad? Um, no chance of that at all right now. We can't build enough of the ones we're building. Not to say it might not happen in the future, but it won't be. It won't be a FUPA XL. Modern gear for modern problems. Does it say that somewhere? No, you're asking for that. You're Got my black FUPA dangler in, and it's fantastic. Makes the Condor version. I didn't even know Condor made one. Chuck, what's up, Carta Lee? What's going? Carita Lee, what's going on? Donde esta el baño? Where is the bathroom? I didn't speak no fucking Spanish and had 24 fucking 36 Spanish speaking people. And they, the one that spoke English didn't even speak very good English. And somehow we were able to run that whole fucking business without me speaking Spanish in Oceanside. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 In Oceanside. What? No XL dangler for Bob, man. I can't build enough of them right now. Bob left all his fucking bags here. We built all those bags. I still have them sitting here. He didn't even take them. I know this sounds dumb, but do you think facial hair will be considered a form of toxic masculinity? Unless it's on a transgender. Unless it's on a, a chick with dick. Um, the truth is that that shit is super amplified, and it it's not as present and as big as they think. I mean, how many how many chicks with dicks or or boob beards have you ran into if you're not at Starbucks? Like they're not out. You don't you don't see chicks with dicks just cruising around at the fucking sporting goods store. One of my large lumber clients caught a ransomware hack a couple of weeks back. They are back to paper timesheets and paper checks for the time being. Yeah. Imagine how many companies don't know how to do that. Josh, what's up, buddy? We love you. Uh, you two inspire and are very reliable. I appreciate all you. Thank you, Jessica curious to hear more about your company action jackson holy shit what's up quickest way to learn another language is immersion when you have no other yeah dli that's what they do i mean didn't Aisham go to uh santa uh, barbara i'm sure he did. had to learn thai there he lived there for six months and everything sure you do yeah. is just thai or go to the local prison and learn what whatever whatever the language there. is <laughs> That's a quick way to learn. Be incarcerated. I see you guys. <clears throat> I see you guys presenting as girls in the wild, but they. I see guys presenting as girls in the wild, but they usually do a pretty good job looking like a girl. That's the deal, man. Be a better bitch. Like we say that. I mean, you always heard that one of the James Bond girls, who was even a Playboy and uh, penthouse centerfold, was a chick. Like was like literally was a tranny, right? It, but that was a dude who became a woman and for years not a single person questioned right just be a better bitch if you want to do that about 15 years ago a guy i worked with told me he was smoking a cigarette and a tranny asked him hey buddy can i bum a smoke off you he said no i don't smoke then took another drag i don't i don't get it um which chest rig would you suggest for a first time buyer? Uh, Dick, what, what are you carrying, man? Like what's your, what's your gun? That's, that's going to be part of it. Do you want it to do just gun fighting or do you want to also be able to use it for utility 
<clears throat> or is, do you want the smallest or do you want something larger that you can scale? There's a lot of inputs there. I really enjoyed the eclipse. I cut the grass and walked the, we were here doing a podcast during the eclipse. I watched it. Social media keeps suggesting trans fashion pages. What are they trying to tell me? Yeah, well, that's just it. They want to push that bullshit to you. They're also pushing it to children. I recently discovered you guys it's, keep up the good con. Thanks, man. Austin, it's called grooming. And their rack sandals. And their rack sandals. What what is good for 1911? A holster? I don't know. <laughs> Bullets? Bullets. I don't know. What are you and Scully's involvement with Strider Knives, if any? Did either of you work there? Very interested. Any info you care to share? Shit, dude. It's it's all over the place. We've put so much out on that. Scully pretty much ran Strider Knives. Don't say that. I've, I worked there for a couple of years. He was the production manager for Strider I worked, Knives. I worked there for a couple of years. Um, there was a, a very, a very well, it was a very well little machine. There was a good crew that worked there. And we shared a shop like with, like Dwayne and I shared a shop for years. And we still do collaborations. Like we put out um, two runs of Strider Knives that are SOE branded every year. Met some new awesome people at the festival. Finally meeting Kiri. Yeah, Kiri is awesome, isn't she? So they were here. They were here for quite a while. They just left this morning, as a matter of fact. She planted all of those um, garden beds, and Glenn wired up and fucking finished off the entire building. Sorry, still new here. Uh, what's the EDC knife right now? It's always the same thing. It's a Strider. Um, Microtech collab because you can do stupid shit that you shouldn't use a knife for. Uh, it's dull. I've never sharpened it. I use it more for a screwdriver and a pry bar. Um, I have to have a serrated knife because the only way it'll cut shit is because it's not sharp. It has to have serrations. The buff carrot. What's up? Buff carrots. Scully cured my erectile dysfunction. Keep a peeps. Nice. Keep, they keep nice. saying I'm that. Glad, I'm a, glad I can do that for you. Really, you I, a, I am glad. I could do that for you. Do you have a short about that or something? I don't. I don't. Do they I'm, keep saying it? I'm glad that I could help you. I mean. Trish McGarity, what's up? That's Evan to you, Skelly. Evan who? <laughs> oh, that's Austin. Yeah, I know. Hey, we talked about that today. You are Evan for now on. My, my brother is a lady brother now. Nothing is good enough, and the goal is always moved. So I cut him out of my life. He should have gone with be a better bitch mindset. Man, here's the deal. Like, if they're just looking for things to complain if, about. If like some people are just too hard to be friends with. Like they can they can be great people. But if I have to stop and think about what it needs, what I need to call you, or we have to do some special shit, you're you come, you come to one of my events here. You are here for a common purpose. If I have to change what we're doing for 1,000 people to accommodate you, well, I got, whatever. If you're a vegan and all you eat is fucking dickweed, bring your own dickweed. It's not, you're not, there's not going to be any dickweed here. You might find some in the woods. I don't know what it looks like, <sighs> but we're not going to hang out. Like you can come here. Nobody's going to give you shit. We know you're gay. You don't have to tell us. We can tell. We know you're black. You don't got to tell us. We can tell. We, we know. We know when you're a vegan. We know you're CrossFit. We know you're a Navy SEAL. It, it, everybody knows. What if they're Chinese? I said, holy shit, there's Ho Chi Minh. Look at his hat. I said it last time. Yeah. He was here. Like, we don't we don't care. Nobody Nobody's going to say anything about you or to you. Nobody cares until you act a fool. Some people are just too fucking difficult to be friendly with. New comments. Lots of them. My buddy was taken to a drag show by his sister. He had a he had a suicidal tendency hat on. One of the girls walked up behind him and man voiced Suey for life. I I think that that I would go to a tran I would go to a fucking drag show. I, I bet it's fun. I'm sure it's fun. I'll bet there's a I bet if you were single at a drag show, I bet there's a lot of hot bitches at the drag show. And I'll bet they I bet they put on a fucking great show. If you could pick if you could pick, what company do you want to collaborate with? I don't know. 
Porsche. Uh, um, I mean, I want to I want to collaborate with uh, I want to collaborate with Reed Knight. I'm hoping in the collaboration I'll get a Mark 11 out of it, and I can have it in my collection. And maybe a Barrett 50 cal, maybe a Barrett collaboration where I could have an M82 in my collection at the end of the collaboration. What do you want to do with Barrett? We could actually probably <clears throat> that one's probably feasible. Well, I, I mean, they I, both probably. Are. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything with Barrett. I just want an M82. Oh, I could give a I could give a Barrett 50 cal class that nobody that nobody has ever given before. That's for sure. Except yeah. for me. SOE M82 vest. We made some pouches for M82. Yeah, we made pouches for them. There's not really a. a I think vest I have for it. two pouches. Lips in San Diego was a blast. Tell us about T Rex being around. Um, middle brother uh, came by. Super nice. He's got five kids. Yeah, four or five. Five's on the way. Yeah. He had four children with him. There is no question those are his kids. Beautiful kids. Super well behaved. Um, we got to meet his wife, super, super friendly. Um, we talked, they were probably here two hours, Yeah, probably. about two hours, showed them all around. We talked about anything you could think of business, uh, antiques, oddities, uh, homesteading. Very, very nice guy. Um, super. I've, I've been looking forward to meeting those guys. Um, we talked holsters, we talked comms, we talked all kinds of stuff. Um, John, upon Scully's endorsement, I got a pair of Victos over the beat shoes nice stupendous stupendous but and a pair of their well sandals mm, don't wear sandals it's too dangerous what if you got to get in a gunfight or run through a thorn bush or change a tire you don't want to be in sandals the man on left's beard is glorious we don't know which way that is i think he's talking about you yeah. do it on powerpoint <clears throat> your uh 50 cal barrett class, class. Yeah. you guys want to bear at 50 cal class on uh on the internet what what would it, what would you be willing to pay? What should that cost? You're gonna have to bring me a Barrett 50 cal though, because I don't have the gun. <laughs> when are the SOE Z28 tactical hood bras hitting? I don't know what that is. I don't Z28. know what he's talking. I like it. Oh, for for like a Camaro. Oh car? yeah, that would is be that what he's talking about. Man, did, it, you know what? That's crazy though, because you did talk about making a bra for something. I don't remember what it was. This was a while ago. You were talking about making a bra for something, and I and and you are very. Uh, you are very anti nylon in the sun. Yeah, it eats up. And so you were like, yeah, it'll, you know, it won't last. It'll fade and shit. And then, but then I had that huge combat cock on the back of the Ford for like eight years. And it, but it went, it lost all its color, just like yeah, when guys but, put them on their dashes. It's all right. Love Victos, everything. Watching the tweaker neighbors trying to make a dump run in a truck with no reverse. And the driver's door stuck. Man, we had we had some we had some carnies pull up here yeah. to drop off a stove. And behind the stove, they had put they put the stove we were buying behind, behind an it. ice maker and a fucking freezer refrigerator. And then they're like, You want to buy the freezer refrigerator? I'm like, No, you have it laying sideways. We cannot demonstrate that it works. And there was like six of them in a truck with two seats. I'd, I'd pay for a Tavor X95 class from Scully. Let's go to the next uh, Tavor 1 class in Texas. It's a great class. Nylon, I'm going to do it again. Nylon in the sun. Uh, Chris Titan, Chris Titian Arms has a Barrett. He might accommodate Scully. We know people with Barretts. Does well, he Chris, still... Chris has Barretts. Chris who? Chris Barrett. Well, yeah, I know that. But He's got, he's got over, he's got 1,600 acres put together out there where they go. Really? Mm-hmm. T-Rex collab. I don't know what we would collab on. I'm going to go. They asked him. We asked him to do a podcast. He was out of time. We kind of sprung it on him. He's, and at the end, after when he left here, he goes, hey, why don't you come out and jump on our podcast? Like, we'd love to. So we'll see about putting that together. Yeah, Isaac, man. Super, super, super cool. I, I actually watch all his content. So it was cool to, to see him show up. Mike Shelby from Forward Observer uh, put that together, I believe. No one wants to see, and he's and he had said he's like, I didn't know where I was going until I pulled up the driveway, saw your logo, and he's like, Oh, I know these guys. I've got, and he, they're an hour from us. I've got more rounds next to a Barrett than most dudes will ever shoot. I got more rounds next to a Barrett than more do more guys will ever shoot. I ran them in rentals, right on. I pay to watch Scully shoot a from a helicopter. Oh, yeah. Give me a helicopter. We'll do a whole class. I'll show you how to set it up for aerial platform. The helicopter guy was here this morning. 
Was he? Yep, they got a little bird. A real I've one. never shot out of a little bird. They have the expensive little bird. Never shot out of a little bird. Uh, Hueys and uh, Blackhawks, that's it. You can, do, you can do a custom class. Oh, I'm sorry. Hueys and Blackhawks, and then we shot the 50 cal out of uh, a 46. We could, uh, you could do a custom helo class out at, at the, your place there, where you're at right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, could, you, you definitely could do it out there. Imagine your neighbors. They, they, my neighbors wouldn't care. They, when I shoot, they get their guns out and shoot. <laughs> it's like they're, it's like a call. It's like a call to the wild. Um, Homestead Medical MD 500 and 600. He has both. Is that what you're saying, Chuck? Don, Don was here this morning. I ran an M82A1 and an M107 until my sinuses hurt. That's very quickly. <laughs> Scully, what size gun was the Apache copter? The Apache copter. I don't know what that question is. Gun run, and uh, when you guys were locked in, wasn't that an Apache came in, did a gun run? Oh, yeah, that's uh, uh, the, the Apache's got a 20, 20 millimeter. I you know, there's a been a 20... lot of Apaches crashing back to back to back in multiple locations, too. Yeah. Not not the same units. Yeah, no, we're we're running we're running into it's you guys. D, is it not the DEI hires? No, yeah, we're running into a situation where you don't want to be in anything that's been maintained or maintenance during COVID. John and Scully, best piece of advice for a custom nice knife startup. I think we just answered you. Are you on our Patreon? Was that you? What would you give them? Custom knife startup. Oh, custom knife startup. Same thing I told them on the other thing. Uh, you know, spend the money. Yeah, was that you asking spend if you the buy, the, buy the expensive grinder or the expensive buy the expensive one? grinder? You're going to thank yourself later. You're going to have less hassles, and it's going to be more warrantyable. And go good. all in if you're if you're a knife maker. Go all in. You're a knife maker. Yeah. Like go all in. Like if you if you think you can do this, fucking put everything you have into it, and then you have no choice but to do it. And just go, go. I remember and, going. I remember coming into the shop, and Dwayne would come back covered in fucking dust. He'd be like. I made 20 knives this month. So all the knives I can make. That's it. I come back a month later and he'd be like, I made 25 knives this month. That's all the knives I can make. Can't make another one. I'm like, you made five more uh, this month. How did you do that? He's like, I don't know. And then he'd be like, I made 28 knives this month. I don't know how I did it. Just go all in, man, and just fucking put your heart into it and, and don't be cheap. And that's what you are as a knife maker, man. As <clears throat> soon as you start making money, all that money goes back into better equipment and and material. Like you got a girlfriend, your dates are at the shop. You're gonna have dinner, she brings dinner to you at the shop. Like all you do is fucking work. And making knives is dirty. So if you think you're doing it in your garage, your garage will never be the same. Take some two by fours, frame in a piece of that garage, put some dry sheetrock up, and that's your dirty room. Invest in respirators, invest in filters, Get a draw fan that's going to push that fucking smoke out the wall and make knives. When's the next Scully movie scene? I don't know. Soon. Soon. What's, what's he talking about? I don't know. Greetings from Ireland. Garden for life. What's up, buddy? The buff carrot. Uh, your set up. The logo in the background is awesome. It is badass. That is uh, Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen Creations. That's all. That's Metal? steel. It's badass. It's heavy powder coated it's beautiful it's actually made to be a set of stairs uh, under a sheet of glass at the landing noodles you need a logo like this in your live stream is noodles on here I don't see anybody named noodles i just watched the Narinko ak video did you ever have to replace parts i never had to replace parts in that gun i mean that 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 gun still shoots like a champ um, you know, I did change some things out. Like I put a, uh, for lack of a better terms, the AK 74 muzzle brake on it instead of the, in, instead of that, uh, muzzle brake that's on them normally. Um, but that's it. And I, I shot a ton of rounds. I probably shot more rounds through that Norinco than any other gun I own. Slingshot warrior outdoors. Are you got like a slingshot YouTube channel? Scully, how close are we to a civil war? A presidential election. The movie comes out tomorrow. It does. Is it today? Yeah. Comes out know. today. Maybe. What's today? Today's the fourth? I was going to rent out the theater over here. It's not playing over here. <sighs> Hello, Buff. The Buff Carrot. A friend of mine makes custom folders. His garage has ventilation system and all the equipment. Good. 
you fucking need it. Good. Yeah, you do definitely need the ventilation system. If you ever get mad at anybody, like if you're ever mad um, at somebody and you want to fuck with them, go in your friend's go in your friend's uh, shop and get some metal dust, like a handful of it, and then just go to that person's car and sprinkle it all over the car. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Especially in the morning before the dew sets in. First Billy Stojak story I was told came from Machine Gun Baby. Oh, uh, Machine in Gun Las Baby Vegas, in Las Vegas. She's the I best. sent her your video of Scully talking about Billy. So she's com she's commented on my stuff. I'm like, hey, you should come out and do a podcast. And she goes, I don't know what I would talk about, but I'll I would come out. So baby's baby's the best. I love that. I love every baby. time she I've seen awesome. her in life, she has that giant ass fucking full yeah. length fur coat on. Yeah, she and she's awesome. She always makes me blush and she's just awesome and i mean i only know her because of billy and billy was a badass i mean truly we we've we lost a good one when we lost billy stoche even vegas i mean fuck he was the he was the primary he was the primary guy for repairing machine guns in like 10 different spots i mean so well, it was a, a lot of those machine guns are his it's a big it was a big deal when billy when billy passed away noodles live man. i i take it that you have a youtube channel what what's your channel about man thoughts on the galil ace it's good it's a good gun i mean i don't like that they call it the galil i know that the original galils was the 325 326 maybe i consider the i consider anything called galil the original guns the galil aces it's like a, you have those don't you yeah it's like a <laughs> You sh they should have called the new one something different because they are not Galil's. Talking about committing Harry Carey with that orange screwdriver and M60 Black Betty. Say that again? I'm guessing he's talking, talking about, about Billy. committing Harry Carey with that orange screwdriver and M60 Black Betty. I don't know what he's talking he's about. He's not talking about the, the dude that fucking started sticking that dude up and why they made the Strider picks, right? No, I don't think so. That's not what we're talking about. I travel in New York City every day. I think she had a baby noodle. I think she had a baby noodle. If civil war ensues, I'm putting my NCO sword on the kit for nostalgia and traditional purposes. Do it, it, man. If a civil war, the more outlandish <laughs> you think, the more outlandish your kit is, the better off you're going to be. Like, think, um, think Sierra Wasteland Leone. Wasteland warriors. Yeah, think Sierra Leone. You know, tutus and life vests are on the table um your thoughts on pistol caliber carbines uh great for teaching uh, they are great for getting women behind uh long guns and getting their first taste in it they love shooting those things and they can do it very accurately um there's a there's a place i know that there's a lot of guys that poo poo pistol caliber carbines but there's a place for everything um and and i know people will be like well it's supposed to be full automatic you know we had mp5s in the marine corps and you were only allowed to shoot that motherfucker full auto one time Everything else was semi-automatic fire all through the house. And those fucking SOTG, I mean, those force recon guys, they can fucking run those MP5s. Is she, like machine, nobody's gun, business. Is she machine gun BB or is it baby? BB. BB. Yeah. Machine gun BBs, M60 broke the charging handle. She would charge it by putting the stock in her hip and using a oh, flat yeah, definitely. Head screwdriver stick. Definitely. She is a, she's a fucking animal. She can run those damn guns, man. She is a, she again. Billy wouldn't have anything to do with her if she wasn't on point, and she is baby is on point. A fixed bayonets if we're going to civil war. Yeah, ban. Why not? I why, see the benefits not? of a pistol caliber carbine. If you have to shoot indoors, you pop an SBR indoors without ear pro, and all you hear is e. That's just like shooting a three hundred eight out of a car. Yeah. Same fucking thing. <clears throat> Scully, uh, great meeting you at SRF took your it's about the journey talk to heart good good because it is about the journey guys not the destination they are fun. And who you're with you it's definitely better to have somebody that you can share that event with they are fun and it's uh about where did it go all these are moving they're fun and nine millimeter costs less than rifle that's true i mean again there's a there's a, a place and a purpose for everything if you if you're doing good work nobody's going to care what caliber you shot them with <laughs> There seems to be a lull here. A lull? Yeah. It's probably might, the rain. Might have lost connection. Serious question. What do you think of less than lethal? Can you believe there is less than lethal lethal militia? Laugh out loud, it's for real. I don't 
I don't know. I don't know what lesson lethal. The Israelis lesson. killed a lot of motherfuckers skipping rubber bullets, though. Uh, lesson lethal is, from a military perspective, it's kind of a joke. Um, there was a, we actually, uh, they issued us a motherfucking less than lethal Claymore mine in, uh, what that shoot fucking rubber bullets, rubber balls again, but we, you still don't want to get hit with like, we weren't supposed to, we weren't supposed to use mines. And because, because the, because the military doesn't understand that a Claymore mine is not actually the mine that is covered in, uh, Geneva Convention. In the in the whatever the moratorium is on landmines, you're not supposed to. The moratorium on landmines is they don't want you putting out landmines that are not observed. A claymore mine is an observable mine it because it's you, you're firing it off. So, but they issued us these stupid rubber bullet ones to use at a checkpoint, and it's like if a VBID comes through here, this rubber bullet thing ain't gonna do shit. So it's kind of dumb. Good point. Less than lethal doesn't mean not lethal. It's less than. Hey, not... speaking of Israelis and less than lethal, they had suppressed 22 caliber rifles that were part of their less than lethal mm, suite. That's cool. It, because it, in theory, it wasn't killing the people that they were shooting. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, the Navy had those. But they were those still suppressed. Shooting... Those suppressed Ruger yeah. 77s. They were the still integrals. shooting people with those 22. Stingball Claymore. Is it true that when special forces go in the house and they get their target and then everybody passes through the room, the rest of the team will all send him a bullet too? Well, that's what happened with bin Laden, I think. Well, you, there's, there is a, uh, <clears throat> it's not necessarily what you think. There is a idea behind that. And that's the sense of never pass a dead body because when Snow you're Jack said that, yeah, when you're, when you're, when you're dynamically moving through a building um, you may enter a room where guys have already passed through that room, meaning so guys have already passed through that room and there's a dead body on the ground. Um, that could be a different how do you bed. know? It could, yeah, be, a it could different be a different dude, guy, too. right? So never, there's a never pass a dead body. I had a really good uh, my my really close friend David Eaton. His his dad was a, a retired sergeant major from the Marine Corps. And he, he told a story about uh, shooting Japanese and he had a Thompson, he carried a Thompson submachine gun and he was on uh, fuck, where the hell were they? I mean, he went all over the Pacific, but he was like, I did shoot a, I did shoot a dead Japanese once. And uh, we're like, what? He goes, never pass a dead body. Cause you never know. You just never know. So anytime on tapered war belts, I don't, if you need a war belt, buy one, do not wait for mine. Never trust a possum. I've caught probably hundreds mm -hmm. of possums. Uh, the Geneva Convention is for military, since it does not apply to civilian. It's more like the Geneva suggestion. Even in the, even for the military, it's a little bit of Geneva suggestion. It just depends on which country is arguing the fact. You are we, not fighting gentlemanly. We argued when the Russians started using cluster munitions. We were like, no, it's against the Geneva. Don't can't use them. And then what are we sending the fucking Ukrainians cluster munitions? just depends on who's who's in court arguing who's who, which sides against us that's what it depends yep bird shot dead check <clears throat> you just run that flash hider through their eyeball you'll know if they're dead yeah or quick quicker shoot them the reason i asked is my dad said that in vietnam that they had periodically done this yeah i, I am sure that they did how did the bastards move guys move guy respond to him getting a promo code he never replied i sent it to him bo what's up hey i got cabbage here for you buddy it's sitting out front is phosphorus under geneva or yeah. same principle you're not yeah you're not supposed to use phosphorus any white phosphorus against um civilian populations my father said in vietnam like they they got a lot of their own people got hit with their own phosphorus yeah devo's weed chronicles what's up I, i'm taking it he smokes weed uh, where do where or are white just, women at? He's just chronicling smoking weed. Uh, Isaac Barrett, what's up? Love your suggestion. Longtime listener. Found you through TSP. I left my job and went full time on my business appreciation on my business. Appreciate you sharing advice. Uh, gardens. What's your what's yeah? Your what's business, your business? Man? What do you do? What do you do? Your gardens. So maybe. Flowers? Thanks for the five euros, <clears throat> Zachary Farmer. What's up? Fuck's going on over there, Brandle. Brandle, what's going on? 
Are we still on? Are you? You're not watching us. You're looking at furry videos, aren't you? Over there looking at furries. MFK, what's up? Folding boxes. Why do you fold box? Why are you folding box? We're gonna have a, a pizza box folding competition at the party. Growing plants, teaching how to grow food and homestead nice. That's good. Trump good. 24. Keep, keep you better that. fucking hope. Did you do Patreon? We did do Patreon. Yeah. Hey, wait though. Did you see the? Did you see this? They're still doing the same shit. Did you see this Chicago election where the? <clears throat> they're both Democrats, but the one that nobody wanted to win was winning by ten thousand votes, and then everybody went to sleep, and miraculously ten thousand votes showed up, <laughs> all for the opposing candidate. Man, Imagine the Democrats that. are just evil. I ship plants daily, right on Galil Ace or AK. Galil Ace or AK? Galil Ace. Because I can get the Galil Ace in 5.56. Five, the Galil Ace also has a longer sight radius. Um, just a, a overall better platform than an AK. Sorry, AK guys. I know you're going to lose your shit. But the AK is, it's, it, the AK is old tech, man. We're not even, they're not even using it in Ukraine anymore. I'll and, tell you, I'll tell you what, Joe Rogan is always bringing up the fear of World War Three. I don't know if we'll get World War Three. Civil War. We might get a civil war. Shout out to Combat Jesus. Yeah, love Combat Jesus. Gee, sorry. I know. Have you but heard of thirty dollars per chicken tax on farm? I haven't heard that. I hear a lot of people saying when you when the when they fucking come out to count my chickens, they bring better bring a SWAT team. I hear they a lot will. of people saying that. They will. The FDA has SWAT teams. AK is enough. Would you buy a five five six or a seven six two? Well, are we talking What's 762 by 39, 762 by 51? Uh, <clears throat> don't you have both of them? Don't you have both already? Yeah, I don't know why you don't have all of them. 556 five, is is 556 five, is the better uh intermediate or small small caliber, meaning of your personal weapon. 762 by 51 is the one you want to really make an impression. It started already, just hasn't got hot yet. I've been saying that for years. I've been saying like bloody Kansas. Like when they write the history books in 50 years, when are they going to start that say this civil war started? Just like when do they say Fort Sumner or did it start the, the several years prior to that? Five, four, five is the master race. But five, four, five, don't five, four, five is definitely better than seven, six, two by 39. It may even be a little bit better than five, five, six. The problem is you're running it in a, you're running it in a, in a, a rifle system that is fucking antiquated have a presentation today in my <clears throat> business professional class we had to choose someone we admire for the presentation and i chose you right on josiah i'd be interested in hearing that 30 cal supremacy josh winnie says That's buckshot versus body armor at 50 yards nothing happens <laughs> it's buckshot it's not going to go through body armor i was promised an asteroid brandon herrera laugh out is brandon herrera combat jesus is that what you're saying he is combat jesus i like him John, are you making <coughs> backpacks regularly at the moment? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Got some on the wall, I think. I have a uh, Woodland Day Packs that can ship right now. Thanks to John, I went from working 55 hours a week to 80. <laughs> it's awesome. That's I don't awesome. understand. Uh, problems problems with spare parts. I People always bring that up. Spare parts this, spare parts that. I mean. Well, I mean, I do you remember? I don't, I don't get it. Do you remember when the sheriff departments had the Ruger Mini 14s? Yeah. And they brought him into James Rex Road and he couldn't, they wouldn't send him firing pins and shit. He had to send the entire gun back to Ruger. Ruger would not send him parts. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, if you're, if you've bought an X95 and it's breaking, there's something wrong with the gun. I, I don't, I don't, I just don't understand. People always talk about that kind of shit like the zombie apocalypse. And after you fired 20,000 rounds, are you going to have? parts for that gun you, bro first off you you're not you're never going to fire twenty thousand rounds in a something hot and you ain't going to make it so you don't need spare parts that's why you learned a machine I'm, in the world, i'm kidding somebody said i'm kidding you gotta Buckshot have spare parts. won't defeat level three soft armor yeah i sure as shit don't want to be shot with it though no definitely don't want you're to. definitely taking some that where the armor's not <clears throat> every time i take something apart i put it back together i get spare parts same with me <laughs> go ahead and take the dash out of your truck and see what happens what happened and Kevin what's up how was SRF it was good SRF was good 
Guys, we're going to do a party uh, July 13, old school SOE party. That'll be going. And then the next SRF is in October. Tickets are up for sale. Uh, you can get your early bird tickets for SRF right now. If the world, holy shit, a bunch of scheme. If the world ends, you can fix it. You can't claim your warranty or order one online. Yep, you're right, man. Right, but I mean, again, you, there's going to be so many other things you're going to be worried about and whether or not you're... <clears throat> Remember mean, those Ruger carbines that use the Glock? Yeah, they were 40 and 9 mm camp rifles, what they called them. I'll donate a pig for the party if you want, right on. I'm We're bringing in food trucks for the party. I don't I don't know. It's, it's highly possible that we have guys cooking barbecue and stuff, too. Um, but we'll have some food trucks. We'll have, I, I think we got machine guns coming. Um, Derek's coming to do tattoos. We'll have, it'll, it'll be like old school. <clears throat> Did you guys see Alex Jones CIA video? Yeah. Have you noticed that all those dudes getting caught on video, they're all seemingly gay dudes. Every fucking one of them. Hidden cam CIA, Alex Jones saw it. We saw it. Self-reliance festival, Josh. Thank you. I'll take out the stickers i'll produce the need for stitch i'll take out the stickers i'll produce the need for stitches probably excuse me not going to give the sticking though i don't know what he's talking about stitches i'll freeze some morels to bring to the party right on are you gonna cook them people bring me stuff all the time you have to prepare it otherwise it'll just sit in the refrigerator and never be used an old Dodge mechanic here. I have plenty of spare parts for cars worked on. I re-engineered it better. Nice. I mean, that's the other thing, too. In, in the zombie apocalypse, there's going to be plenty of spare parts. Laying all around. Laying all over all the place. All you're gonna, the carnage. You'll be able to go to, you'll just be able to, you know, drive your MRAP that I'm sure you'll have by then to IMI and open the warehouse and there'll be plenty of spare parts. Oh, for the for the yeah. glills? Got a Remington 1187. Looking forward to getting a Ruger 1022. Good gun to have. That Ruger That's about all you can have in Ireland. Well, the 1022 is fucking awesome. Yeah. You'll have a blast with that. Plenty of deer killed with a 22. All the dead people won't have a need for their cars. That's true. That's true. Plus, you can feed them to pigs. <clears throat> there won't be enough people left to bury the dead. When the time comes. Maybe. It's a Rob Bailey song. Maybe. You know Rob Bailey and the Hustle stand. You know Rob's putting another album out with Hustle? I didn't know that. Awesome. Good. Mark 25, Miami. All right, you had enough? No, no. I mean, I'm fine. I just wanted to look up what a Remington 1187 looks like. You know what an 1187 looks like? It's a semi-auto. Is the M60 still Scully's favorite machine gun? Is the M60 still... I mean, you know, I got a special place in my heart for the the, the M249 squad out of mech weapon. Oorah. Um, but the classic M60. Vietnam M60. None of that new fangle forward pistol grip M60 Echo 10 or none of that shit. I want a classic M60. I love it. I love it. I know it's a pain in the ass to keep running. I know it, but I love that M60 machine gun. That is just the best. The only thing that I could possibly think would be better is uh, the, the stoner machine gun, but I don't know because I never fired that, and I would kind of put that in the same category as the saw. I know they're not, but they're both 5.56 five, guns. You want the gun of Rambo? I would love the gun of Rambo 1. Rambo 1. <clears throat> Scully be like, hey, hey there, camper. Hey there, camper. I like 327 yards. It's so specific. <laughs> and smoke something at 327. All your speakers you had at SRF were awesome. Nick Ferguson's class on animal feed was something I am going to start right away. Bo, I got you. Come talk to me. I'll show you. We did fodder trees here. What about the RPK? RPK is a good gun. I mean, it's a it's a decent, decent gun. But... I made burgers. The SIG 226, most reliable handgun. What is the second? The SEALs use that thing for the fuck two, 20 years. The 228. Is that true? you believe that? The 228. What non-Glock, non-1911 should he buy? 
what non Glock, non nineteen eleven pistols. Uh, uh, Smith and Wesson six eighty six stainless no, steel six inch Wesson, barrel. Uh, the Smith and Wesson, the Smith and Wesson, the current Smith and Wesson. Uh, what the fucking shield? Is it the shield? Um, I and I know it's not scientific, but again, Grantham does the mud test, the freeze test, and the goddamn Smith and Wesson shield always wins. It's always at the top of the list. Sig three twenty. I think Cody's got one of those things. Scully, what do you think about drones? Surprise, no terrorist attacks have taken place in the United States involving drones. I mean... They'll do one themselves so that they they can ban more drones. The issue is we have the big drones. You know, it's uh, a drone that drops a mortar is... It's terrifying on the battlefield, but for a terrorist attack, it's not going to have the type of... It's not going to have the type of effect that, you know, a 747 has. So, I don't know. Um, why haven't we had more terrorist attacks here? Because there are there are some good people in the secret government that do really good job and make sure that those people are getting their getting their asses handed to them. Oh come on, the two forty or golf, the two forty Bravo or golf outperform the M sixty in every way. Hey, you didn't ask me about performance. I specifically said it's hard to keep the M sixty running, but that's the gun. And by the way. The 240 Golf is not new. Um, the, the 240 Golf is just a representation of the Mag 58, which has been around since 1958. Same time period as the M60. Michael, what's up, man? Michael Sparks, he was here this weekend. And Smith & Wesson is here in Tennessee. I'm taking the wifey to look at a Smith & Wesson easy 9mm. Cool. What, did, what was the warning that the FBI issued? Where's that? FBI issued a <sighs> warning today about an attack. They oh, keep yeah. doing that. They issued a warning for fucking everything do you hear another barge hits or another barge fucking powered down and lost control uh what's your guys opinion on the large chinese immigration um the, they actually interviewed some military chinese guy, guys uh near the dorian gap and he said uh we don't have to take over we just become the united states we don't have to have a war we just put so many people there it becomes ours reminder kiri says you have apricot and peach trees back by the raised beds that need to be planted glenn got you thank you hey that pkm is a badass machine gun david <clears throat> pkm is fucking badass it's lightweight it fires at a high cyclic rate it's a badass machine gun i love the pkm but again you're talking about we were talking about nostalgic which one would i want i want the m60 because that's the gun of rambo guys Stay away from large public gatherings is what the FBI is saying. So I would suspect that there's probably some Trump rallies they don't want you to attend is probably what it's about. Um, remember, Robonator, did you hear that the world was going to end because the moon covered the sun? Um, yeah, we heard all about it. According to The View, the only reason why that happened was because of global warming. What do you guys think of Jays funding the invasion of America? Jays, I don't know what you mean. Who's he talking about? I don't know. Oh, Jews is what he's talking about. Maybe. Highest terror threat in recent history. Yeah, no crap, FBI. Democrats work for China. 100% they do. M60 all day. All day, all night. MG42, another great machine gun, but not my... Uh, I wasn't in that army. PKM <clears throat> of MG42 for me. Yeah, PKM is a good again, or, it's a good machine gun. We got chickens. We're surrounded by sheep and cows. So no point in us keeping those. Getting pigs this year just to get my feet wet. I hadn't considered feeding them two legged rats though. Yeah. Yeah. Rabbits for the manure. Five days. You gotta starve a pig for five days. Make sure you cut the cut the hair off and take them teeth out. It's hard he'll, on the piggy digestion. He'll eat the bones. <clears throat> Sheila Jackson Lee says the moon is made of gases. Like farts? Like those kind of gases? It's made of cheese. Everybody knows. It's a it, it, it's a defunct Death Star. Scully was saying shield, but meaning M and P. Yeah, I did mean M and P. Sorry, guys. This is off of the cuff of my memory. 1919 is slept on. He he has some. I, I I have a 1919. We I love shoot, that one too. We were I mean, shooting it at the end of a range. I love the 1919. That's a that's a good that's a good ass machine gun too, but a little bit before my time. What was your favorite speaker at SRF? You? Me? Yeah. Why? Right until you started, your blood pressure went up. I thought you were gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> I, don't know what the f- I mean, yeah, yeah. It, that was at the time you were getting asked some some uh, cantankerous questions. 
cantankerous what did yeah. they ask um when you said uh what was it you said you said um it was something about buying something and then you're like when you pay for it oh the building oh insurance yeah uh kill rob was featured on the newest australian <clears throat> death machine album oh kill rob bailey rob bailey was yeah he was he also did a collab with ivan the terrible i think i'm going to quad mount an m2 you totally should you should quad mount an m2 that would be fucking badass m2 is a great machine gun too best yeah. best 50 caliber machine gun out there 45 seems to be making a comeback yeah uh, and in uh carbines in the uh, pccs it's expensive though it's expensive it's cheaper to shoot nine millimeter what knife does scully carry uh currently a makita a makita knife like one of these things yeah just like that with a screwdriver in it yeah this has yeah. a screwdriver in it. Your, it's not really a knife it's more of a razor blade yours is probably made by uh milwaukee yeah it's probably made in the same factory yeah and when you dull this or break this you can just flip it around that's the current that's the the problem is when i the problem is if i carry anything else and then somebody's like strider i love it. I feel like I'm like, here you go. Nobody ever asked me for my Makita. How do you make the time to produce several <clears throat> produce several live videos per day? I've been putting one video per week for six years now. Well, I pay several people, and we don't make any money doing this. Um, I mean, we do see some sales. I mean, we haven't really even spoken gear. I haven't told you guys, hey, help support us. Go buy SOE gear. Join our Patreon. Um, we'll get there eventually, though. The videos will pay for themselves at some point. PPCs are just not reliable. I, I don't know that to be... Our carbines? I don't know that to be true. <clears throat> I've got... MP5 was. I got... I probably got 15 of those bad bears in all kinds of shapes and forms and calibers, and they all, they all work just fine. My dad used to go a lot to tactical response classes down in Camden. He gifted me some of your SOE tool bags... They've been rock solid for many years. <clears throat> right on. You should come to some classes. M1 carbine rock, but ammo hard to get. Yeah, it is getting a little weird to get M1 carbine ammo. Probably have to reload it yourself. Sure yeah, you I mean, it's still components. out there. It's just, it's just with the ammo, with all the ammo shenanigans going on, stuff like that gets a little hard to find. Yeah, dudes are like MP5s are still smoking dudes as we talk. HK Hump, what's that? I don't know. What the, hump oh, is. The UMP, probably, probably UMP. Yeah, got one of those too. Do you really? Yep. I just thought that was, it just it felt. But like I, it. I don't have it in the UMP form. I had it converted to the, uh, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not the, it's not the civilian version. It's the cool military version or cool German version or whatever. You should charge to see your weapons arsenal. <laughs> you should set up a museum. I mean, you know, I should do a lot of things, guys. I should do a lot do of things. you know how many transferable machine guns exist? Not a lot. I Only mean, 180,000. Okay. Seem low. No, not really. Do you know that 6,000 are destroyed every year? Because it's usually, it's mostly old dudes that own them, like bringbacks and stuff. And when they die, they don't fucking have them left to anybody. So the new family members basically think they're illegal and turn them in and they get destroyed or chopped up. I watched a video this morning about it. Probably. Beretta ARX. Have a museum. I, hey, somebody said Dragon Man's in Tennessee. Is that true? I don't know where. I thought he was in Utah. Huh. Bought an SOE hoodie at SRF. Good quality. Thank you. I We wear them all the time. I've got one sitting right over here. Did you, did you buy? Which one did you buy? Did you buy the um, post-apocalypse one? Did you see the Navy social media post? where the sailor had an LVPO backwards on his rifle. Yeah, but, I mean, they've had guys on gun magazines with that bullshit. Not dog man is in Colorado. And I don't know if that guy was, I mean, again, I didn't look at it too hard, but I don't know if that guy was actually a sailor. It looked like, because uh, of the jacket he was wearing, it, it looked like he might have just been a rep, maybe. <clears throat> Colorado. Dragon Man's in Colorado, we'll be saying. Uh made in the motherfucking USA. Hey, can you guys hear this on his? Can you hear that? I think they can hear it. Can you hear it? The music? You're gonna get a copyright infringement. <laughs> on my own music. <laughs> oh, the XO? It was the actually the XO. Well, poor guy. Hey, here's the truth though. You can't fault him. The XO did not set up that rifle. 
But there's definitely a gunner's mate. <laughs> there's definitely a gunner's mate that's in trouble. John's museum. Glenn, did we ever go upstairs? I never saw you. Did we? We did we? We did not go upstairs. Did Amanda take you up there? I don't care if that was a model. The person responsible for outfitting the model looks like an yeah yeah absolutely you're right yeah but didn't yeah. didn't didn't the fucking commandant of the Marine Corps have some bullshit like that happen? Or uh, it was the no it was the Air Force guy who had his ribbons all fucked up. Pissed off gunners, mate. Maybe it could have been a pit. You know what? Hey, if it was a dog, look, if it was a dog and pony show that they had to do for the XO or for, you know, some command and staff climate, wouldn't surprise me one bit if the, if the gunner's mate was like, put this shit on backwards. <laughs> Hood Billy. I don't know who you are. You guys, some of you guys have done a poor job at being like, Hey, like I, I talk to a lot of people, but I never know until afterwards who you like Yoda coma. I talk to that dude all the fucking time. I have no idea who he is, and he was here all weekend. You guys need to take your avatar picture and put it on. We need to have, like, IDs or something. Since the Marines are part of the Navy, just playing. Oh, Jeff's outside. He probably had to pee. Hood Billy came with Bob. Oh, no shit. Oh, I know who you are. Fuck. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I actually like that dude. We had dinner with him. Told you 10 times. No, you're right. I got you. I got you. I know who you are. My avatar picture is me in a costume. I, from what I see is you have a, a white lab coat on. John with a spoon. Hold up. Can you ham radio now? Are you the ham motherfucking master? Hamming it up. Marines posted a photo today with a VCOG and captioned clear sight picture. Diet Pepsi pee break. I took your advice and set up the email and bought the URL for a business. I would like to start. I plan on being one of you guys. You talk about uh, one year. Hey, speaking of. Uh, hold on, Garrett. Why are we doing it in one year? Do something fucking today worth talking about. If you're I'm waiting for a year, there. you're not going to make it. Do something every fucking day. You can do it. What? Nothing. Bob, holy shit, there he is. There he is. White lab coat over a Nomex flight suit and baseball catcher shin guards. Post-apocalypse version of me. I like it. That's nice. I like it too. What's your thoughts on the CMMG 46 task force meme? I mean, I, the only problem is that 46 is such a, I mean, it's like 5, 4 by 28, which is a little more prevalent, but. Four six isn't really out there, guys. It's then it's fucking expensive. I mean, I'm sure it'd be cool, but again, if you're not shooting the, you know, you know the name of it. What's the squirt gun that the seals run around with? MP seven. If you're not running around with an MP seven in four six, is it four six? Wait a minute, I, I thought it was four point eight. I don't know. I, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I do the best work, butt naked. He plans on being one of the people you talk about offhand soon. No, he plans on being successful, I think is what he means. Stay safe, team. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe out there. What specifically is the difference in quality versus shit plate carrier chest rigs? Design, probably. I mean, all the materials are pretty good. If you're buying a U.S., even, even a Chinese plate carrier... As long as you're running Cordura or something. I mean, there's some shit out there coming like Pakistan and, you know, gun show type bullshit. <clears throat> Go to Walmart and look at some backpacks. There's some decent ones, but there's some shitty ones. I can't work naked. Too distracting. Um, my favorite kind of work day, scooping dog shit in Indiana rain. Does anybody know what's going on in Philadelphia here of mass shooting? Haven't heard about it. Brink, what's up? Greetings from South Africa. What's up, man? What are you doing in South Africa today? Jump out teams. 357 lever gun. Uh, I have one. You can quiet them down. I have one. It's nice. We it's, got a fun, rig. it's fun to be suppressed. Lee, has, hey, Lee, what's up, man? How are you? Are you finding... West Philadelphia, yeah. Active shooter. Shooting erupts at something... Al Fitter event in West 
keep in mind, man, any, anybody involved more than three people, they consider a mass shooting too. And if you are in self-defense, justifiable self-defense, they, okay, they but, actually put that into the gun uh, crime laws. I, I know people are panicking. It says two people were wounded. And they probably, they probably look very similar to one another. Have y'all seen NVG Booney hat? I have not. I haven't either. I missed the museum. Maybe this. Sorry, Glenn, man. The Chinese ones at LAPG are decent carriers. Had to beat sub 100 plate care. He has everything, though. Twitter is good for having no idea what's going on and distracting us. Um, you're being distracted right now. We're distracting the shit out of you. That is true. Farming. Trying to make some gear for myself. <clears throat> The stuff we get is expensive as fuck, and the quality sucks. Man, it our perspective looking at South Africa as a farmer seems very dangerous. Like it from 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 what we see, like it's fucking. There's some crazy shit going on in South. Yeah, Africa. Philly. Philly definitely has more shootings than this little thing that's going on right now. But they have to. They need sensationalization to make it. You know make people scared did you guys hear about the insurrection that happened at the capital cafe at the cafeteria in the capital we did not what happened hear, what happened was that over uh french fries battle chemist i was actually just looking at lapg oh that's la police gear they're owned by botac aren't they Isn't i that... thought so yeah, yeah maybe maybe yeah but there's a lot of value here distract break All right, guys. Gaza fangirls happened. Nice. Is that the uh, cafeteria Get that on the page. thing? That's probably the cafeteria thing. They're probably mad that there was no. Hey, are you single? You want a prepper chick? You want to get the right bitch? Only preppers.com. Not really. They wanted like thirteen grand for the URL, so we don't have that one. You guys want to? You guys want a uh, a dating site? I don't know how we would do that. I think it should be like a dating show where that you want to do a like a homestead we, apprentice dating show. Yeah, that we find uh we find the single lady and then three we do like a three preppers come. We do like a uh, wasteland warriors where we put the girls on one side, the dudes on the other side, and then we like uh what's that when you play Rochambeau? the music? No, when you play the music oh, and, and uh, ashes ashes they all fall down. They take one seat away every time. Could do that. What am I talking about? I don't know. We just know. and they have to come in costumes. Like what's your what's your apocalypse costume? That would be cool. Find contestants, uh have to knife fight. Uh senators can't canted eat till senators cannot eat musical chairs. That's what I'm thinking of. Not to mention the amount of round it takes to drop someone for six is expensive. Musical chairs. Why do the Norwegians put barcodes on their ships? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Sounds like a joke. Gang bang. We were gang banging. We we're out gang banging with the unit. Uh, you better DNA test those fuckers. Senators cannot eat till Gaza kids eat. Was their argument? Got it. Uh, C-17s are flying in there every goddamn day, full time, dropping food and shit. We're we're giving them millions of dollars in aid. He says I have three bulletproofs next to my bed. Fended off some problems recently. I'm sure you did, man. I'm sure you did, man. We wish you um well, all the best. We ship, we can ship to you. We can ship to South Africa. Gang banging in Louis Vuitton ain't the same as LA. Prepperlove.com is available. Buy it right now. Oh, there's that's Jason. That's who's making our app. Prepperlove.com. Snatch it up. I sent somebody a book bag. Thanks, and Scully, for the Surefire and the book. He didn't know the Surefire was there. He's oh, Brian, that that's back. you, Brian. Hey, Brian, I got to send you your Surefire. Monkey Works Unless shows. It's, on, it's probably on its way. Monkey Works shows those C-17s <laughs> dropping into Gaza daily. They're getting all kinds of aid. Yeah. That's probably a gold bullion that our Congress people are dropping yeah. off there. They're getting all kinds of aid, guys. Now, what, now, is that aid being distributed? Because there are certain elements in the in the in that area that don't want that aid being distributed. And I'm not talking about the Israelis. 
I'm talking about Hamas. Just they're, like they're going to control them with food. Just like we are the world, hands across America. None of that fucking food went to those fucking people. It sat on those fucking ships and rotted. Just at, like all the all the food that sat on the airfield in Haiti. <clears throat> so just because we're sending it to them doesn't mean they're getting it. They also had red point their hands. They also had red paint their hands for saying blood was on the senators. How are they in there doing that shit? Was it senators and senators? How did they get in there to do that bullshit? They're probably the cook staff. Operation Gothic Serpent. Just like in Africa, the warlords got it, and you had to join their militias Militia to, to eat. eat. It's true. Kind of like you claim. <coughs> Scully and PSA could be a good collab. Day Maybe. drunk, day drunk what... marketing idea. Send <laughs> stickers to OGs in each city and get the media of their low of your logo slapped on all the public. We used to do that. We remember <laughs> we send all the stickers out. We had them on bombs. We had them fucking everywhere, man. There was every fucking plane taken off a carrier. All the ordnance had SOE stickers. We own prepperlove.com. Roger, right on. We got it. They snuck in through the back door somehow. Oh, just snuck Imagine in. that. Just snuck in. Just like the fire alarm guy. Well, you know what's good about that? There's a videotape. So whatever fucking... No, it'll be lost. It'll whatever be Democrat lost. senator let so them in. It'll be lost like the black box. Jason Burnett, can you do a, a prepper love um, app? You can do an app. Snuck right. through the back door. That's hilarious. What's the MK position that I wish I had? What's the MK potion? That I wish that What's I wish the MK I had. potion that I wish I had. Um, I don't know. Bob, are you talking about what are you talking about? Peptides? I don't know. All right, guys, we're gonna jump off of here. MK six seven seven, BPC one five seven, TB five hundred, Mark uh, twelve, KPV, Mark twelve. It's more useful. Sumerellan. There's something to extend the Sumerellan from two hours to four hours. No carbs, though. No carbs at least two hours prior. Dad was a merchant seaman. Told me when when was a, when I was a kid, Red Cross and most U.S. aid was sold on the black market. Yeah, that's what happens with a lot of it. CJC-1295 is the extender. <laughs> It, they all work. Yeah, BPC-157, and it'll work better with TB-500, which is the uh, what's in the nasal inhalant version that they call Wolverine. Uh, just got a Mark 12 upper scully. Nice. Put a lower on it. Tickets for sale for the party? No, the party's free. You just come out. If you are a friendly company or you want to be a vendor, just hit us up. We don't, we don't charge you. Just come out. Ticket pre um, early bird tickets are available right now for self-reliance festival in October. Peptidesciences.com. Don't be telling them that shit. You'll go get it and they won't have it no more. Uh, which is better loophole or night force. Night force. That was quick. I if you couldn't it. buy us we, who is a very, very far second best. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't have a clue. Amino Asylum has lots of varieties. They do. And Amino Asylum has a very good affiliate program. That's what I should be fucking talking about, probably. Cheeseburger, 62 GN, TBBC smacks if you hand load hot. Sounds good. Oh, that's Iridium Group. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> is he talking about? Are you talking about bullets? Yeah, they were talking bullets. I don't, I don't think he's talking about peptides. I take the uh, well, cheeseburger you, peptide. If you load the peptides hot, they'll smack a lot harder too. Prepper Princess is a good site. Is that a porn site? What really? Night Force? Well, well, you tell us what you want the answer to be. Clearly, he, there's an emotional attachment to something he's already spent his money on. John, the early AM clips are gold. Michael, awesome, thank you. Sparks, what's the date for the party again? Um, my secretary, she will uh, put that in there. July 13th. Yeah, there is a Prepper Princess. I just, Hi, everyone. Is it porn? Thank you so much. Oh, no, that. no. Prepper Princess. That's a YouTube channel. I've yeah, seen her YouTube shit. Channel. I just got the 556 FBI load spec. July 13th. You guys come uh, contest ready. We'll do, a, we'll do a pose down. Yeah, we'll do a pose down. Let's do it. 
Me. Can you get Arsenal to bring all the equipment out? All of it. Please. All of it. Bring the trailer, boys. Bring the I'm just gonna do the lotion or baby oil. We can get uh, we can get you your know. boy from the Dragon's Den. I'm gonna rub baby oil. You on know, you so you glisten oh, on stage. We, we can get flex. Why, why we can get flex it? to come in and flex. Why wouldn't you do it? You walk around at like eight percent body fat. I bet your belly button's sticking out. Uh, I'm old, so I use minute of angle instead of mills. Sorry, young guys. Is mills not minute of angle? No. Nope. Remember everybody red lasers over green lasers because 80s. Because what? 80s. Yeah, I mean, why not? Lasers is not the battle. I'm not the secretary. <laughs> How many first places are you going to take there, uh, Jason Burnett? We're all sitting in the kitchen eating some ollies and shit. And he's got, I go, what's in your bowl? <laughs> it's just like white chicken. <laughs> he's good at it. <laughs> all six first places. Badass. I got them green beams. We had the uh, night vision dude here this morning. All right, guys. Hey, we're going to jump off here. Thanks for fucking around with us. We'll see you tonight at nine o'clock. Got any last words of wisdom, encouragement, or knowledge? Any value to add? I think I gave them all the value I have. Don't eat cricket loaf. Homestead Apprentice is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Any opinions on best 44 mag revolver? <clears throat> Smith and Muscle Model 29. I don't know, guys. I don't, I'm not a big, I like revolvers, but I'm not a big revolver guy. <clears throat> Tanks. Thanks. Good show, boys. Man, these mics are awesome. They sure are. Current shotgun card store. I don't have one. We just ran a promo for like through the weekend. What happened? What happened? Why are you coming in here like the police? Oh, then no, he's not the police. They would have definitely fucking. They would have breached the door with some explosives, even though it was open. Make better decisions with your genitals. <laughs> I'm missing some comments here, I guess. I mean, that's a good statement. That's a good closing statement. Good, good closing statement. All right, guys, we're out. See ya.